Congratulations, that sure was an impressive win tonight. All the pieces just seemed to fit so well. In your mind, what was it that worked best? We, we, well, it's, it's obvious that we had a really good offensive game, but it started with our defense. Uh, we started the game with six or seven straight stops, and the guys were flying around. We were communicating. Keeping this team out of the paint is, is very key for us, and, and we did that for the most part. And then the, 35, the 36 assists and, and 14 turnovers is, is just awesome. A season high in assist, as a matter of fact, which is particularly telling considering this is just CJ's third game. You'd think that communication wouldn't be there yet. Were even you a little bit impressed that it happened this quickly? I'm definitely impressed. Anytime that we can go out and win a game against a playoff team uh, like Toronto that's well coached, that has won, that before now had won, you know, seven, eight games in a row, um, it's just impressive in the way we did it starting with our defense, uh, moving the basketball, trusting each other, all the things that we've been working on and talking about the last day and a half. Defensively, you held them to their lowest field goal percentage of the season. They were just under 31%. Um, it, it just seemed that the switches and the doubles were, were working very well tonight. And I mean, does this go back to what you guys were working on at shoot around and, and as far as what you thought that they were going to run and it, it just seemed to all click? Yeah, it does. Um, Coach Corey Brewer, we spoke about him earlier, but he did a, he did a really good job of preparing the team, uh, having an understanding of what these guys are trying to do. They're a dynamic three-point shooting team, but they put their heads down and they get to the paint, they get to the free throw line, and they offensive rebound, which they did tonight. But I thought our guys uh, did a great job of taking on the challenge. Back to the assists, uh, the interior passing had to have been one of the best that you have seen this year, and that's – how you get the 58% field goal percentage, but but we saw a lot of big man passing tonight to, to perfection. <laughs> no, it's, you know, Jonas is capable, Jackson is capable, but the key for us is when you're playing teams like Toronto that can switch red screens is that you got to drive the ball to the paint and kick it and trust your teammate. Just hit the guy that's next to you and rely on, on them to make the next play, and we did that tonight. Uh, Brandon only had 10 points, but it seemed like you know he really impacted that game. Just what do you think about the ways he affected that game besides just scoring the ball tonight? I thought his poise uh, from start to finish was great. Uh, he rebounded. He, he you know he almost got a triple double. Didn't play in the fourth quarter, but he set the table for, for everybody else. And this is something that he's been talking about: is getting guys involved, being patient, letting the game come to him. And it's because of his eight assists that all the other guys got involved in the game and. Brandon knows that he can score at any time, but I'm, I'm impressed at, at what he did tonight and the way he did it. Yeah, you mentioned the, the 36 assists. Everybody in the starting lineup had at least four. Just what did you think about the way y'all were moving the ball on offense and getting everybody involved? It's great. It's how we want to play. Look, not not every game we'll be, able to, we, we'll be able to get 36 assists, but it's great to do it. It's great for guys to continue to trust each other. And when guys are involved, you know, the defense is that much better. You rebound that much better, and it's just fun to watch. And CJ's efficiency tonight was obviously very high. How much of that was the way the offense was running, and it wasn't so much of him just doing everything on his own. It, was, it seemed like the shots were much easier for him tonight. Yeah, it's easier, definitely easier when teams can't load up on you. And when he's getting off the ball, Brandon's getting off the ball, and guys are making shots. Now the floor opens up, and um, CJ's just a guy that, you know, he can create his own, Brandon can create his own. But I thought both of those guys did a great job of getting their teammates involved tonight. One more for, for CJ. He, I think he had six turnovers last game. He talked about learning where guys are. Like, I think he missed a herb cut. Uh, there was a, another couple that he, yeah. he pointed out post game. Well, zero turnovers for him tonight. What did you think about his decision making uh, as he starts to get more familiar with these guys? Yeah, just to your point, he's getting more familiar, getting more comfortable, and as he does, he'll have, get, he'll have games like he did tonight where, you know, he's just getting to the paint, he's driving, he's kicking, you know, he's hitting shots, and, and all the guys are involved. How, how big is that, the, the, the paint touches and, and getting out, um, just to see that from, from somebody like CJ? It's huge. It, it's, it's how you are able to combat a team with that type of size that can red and switch screens is that, you know, they're going to help, they're going to be in rotations, but you got to drive, kick, and just continue to trust. And how big was it for you guys to 
I mean, I know obviously you, you always want to get wins, but to, to start this week against, you know, back to back with Memphis tomorrow and then having Dallas uh, before the break to, to get this week started off the, the way you guys did tonight. It's great, uh, especially for our team, you know, acquiring CJ and Tony and Larry and it's great to get results. Uh, you know, first couple games was tough for us, but like you said, to start the week with the win and with the win, a dominating win like we did tonight, uh, it's, a, it's definitely a confidence booster. Coach, could you talk a little bit about Tony's first minutes in a New Orleans uniform? Looked like he got you a couple threes, rebounded well, and even defended some uh, guarding smaller guys out there really well. Yeah, Tony was good. He was really good. Uh, he's another guy that matches up well with this team, with, with Toronto. Um, he can read multiple screens, and he can space the floor, and he did that tonight. Quick turn, back to back tomorrow with Memphis and John Morant. What can you pull through from tonight and duplicate tomorrow or build on tomorrow? We'll, we'll figure that out, but right now, I just want to enjoy this win. <laughs> Fair enough. We go to Christos on Zoom. Hey, Coach, congratulations on the win that we've won since we've grown. Uh, speaking about CJ, how does he lift the whole team with his presence on, uh, on and off the floor on both ends? You said CJ? Yes. Well, CJ is, uh, he's just a proven professional. He's been doing it for a number of years um, in Portland. It, it's, it's the role that he had. Uh, he's the president of the Players Association. So he's just a leader in general. And, just, and so coming to our team, he's doing much of the same. Uh, leading guys with communication, leading them on the floor, and I think you know, sky's the limit for where our team can go by adding a guy like him. Thank you. Thank you.